cybersecurity is a very important issue in European politics and something that we always discussed and we're having, uh, we're having several measures that have been taking place. Cyber security is also very important for the Baltic states, for us to be trusted, for, for other member states to share the information because some of the technologies have already been developed and used very effectively in, in countries like France and Germany, but we don't have access to those, to those technologies in terms of being able to protect our infrastructure from cyber attacks, uh, especially from some of our enemies who, who could attack us and, and, and impede our countries. So th this is the main fight I in European politics, is for us to have the support of our partners, of other members of European Union, who, who would be willing to help us by sharing the knowledge and information. And I think that that, that path has definitely been taken. And I think the Baltics have more and more trust and, and we, we're becoming real partners of the whole region and, and probably it's an opportunity for the Baltic states to really create more and more. Estonia has done very well with, 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 a, with a NATO division there of cyber security even. Uh, but I think we can, we can invest in, in our people, in, in knowledge and be the strongest in the world in terms of cyber security. Because the future is definitely the, the war. The wars are going to be very, very, very important in terms of what happens uh, or what happens in a virtual space, because things are all controlled virtually nowadays. So definitely we should be taking the opportunity to, to train, to invest, and to be the best at, at this that we possibly can. Well, you know, I heard in America that, that Russia had an involvement in, in, in the previous election, but there was no internet voting there. So uh, I think there's different ways that an, another country that's hostile can partake in the election process and we should stop everything that we can. But if we look at successful countries like Estonia, they've been very successfully voting from home, online for a long time and, and the, the even people of uh, the seniors of Estonia are voting online. So I think definitely it's something we should work towards and definitely something we should definitely implement across the Baltics like Estonia has, probably using the best practices that Estonia has already achieved because becoming e-resident in Estonia is possible, uh, vote on, online is possible and I think that that's great for the Baltics and they're definitely leading technologically at this stage. But e-governments and e-management e and everything online, everything virtually with no paper trail, medical records. There's so many opportunities for the Baltics to become leaders of the world because we're smaller. We can definitely evolve much faster. We have great internet coverage. We have great penetration across the country through broadband. So I think we we'll definitely need to, to focus on this, invest in this. And this is definitely the future and our competitive advantage.